Do you want to use Linux distribution on your Windows 11 PC? You can do so by installing Windows Subsystem for Linux. In this video, you will learn how to install Ubuntu and other distributions using WSL on Windows 11. The Windows Subsystem for Linux WSL allows you to run a Linux environment on a Windows machine directly without using any virtual machine or dual booting. It allows you to use the Linux file system, command line tools, and even GUI tools on your Windows machine. I am going to show you two methods to install Ubuntu on your Windows 11 machine. The first one is to use the inbuilt command line utility WSL, which allows you to download and install Linux distribution with a single command. Another method is to use the graphical interface, which you might find easy. So let's start with the first method. Click on the start menu and type CMD. Now right click on the command prompt and select run as administrator. Click on yes in the UAC pop-up. You will see the command prompt. Here I am showing you the syntax for WSL command. You can simply use the WSL install command. It will automatically install Windows Subsystem for Linux with the default distribution. If you want to install specific distribution, you can use WSL list online to see the available distributions. Then use the dash D option and mention the distribution name to install it. When I ran the WSL list online command, it shows all the available Linux distributions with their name and friendly name. I can install any one that I want. To do that, I will use WSL install dash D, then the name of the distribution, hit enter, and it will be installed. But I am going to install the default distribution, which is Ubuntu. So going to enter WSL install command and hit enter. You will see the UAC prompt on which you have to click yes to allow it. First, it will download and install the Windows subsystem for Linux, which is going to take a few minutes. Then it will install Ubuntu. Once the process is completed, you will have to restart your system. So close the command prompt and restart your computer. After the restart, you will see the command prompt downloading Ubuntu, then installing. Now you are ready to use Linux. On the Start menu, search for Ubuntu and click it to launch. For the first time, you need to create a default user account enter the name, and then password to set it up, and then use as you like. Now let's see how to install Ubuntu using graphical interface. Click on the Start menu, search for Microsoft Store, and open it. Now here search for Ubuntu. You can see this default Ubuntu is showing open because it is already installed using the command prompt. If you want it, you can install it, but I am going to show you this version of Ubuntu. Click on this Get button. You might need to sign in to your Microsoft account. Then it will get downloaded and installed on your PC. Click on the Open to launch it. For the first time, you need to create a username and password, and your Ubuntu is ready to work on a Windows 11 PC.